Hi, my name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to go over the Google Cloud Platform tutorial for sentiment analysis. So sentiment analysis is a program that uses the Google Cloud Natural Language API. So basically, this program takes in a text file as a input, and then it parses through that text file, and it determines the overall attitude um, of the text. So is it positive or negative? And it does this by applying a quantitative score and magnitude to the paragraph or the text. So the first thing you have to do is set up your de development environment. Uh, you install the Natural Language API client library and set up authentication by creating a service uh, account key. So I've already done this, but to do this, do you go sudo pip3, because we're using Python 3, install, uh, upgrade Google Cloud Language, and then uh, inside of the Google Cloud Platform console, you need to go to the API section from the left-hand menu and create a service account key for your project that you're running the sentiment analysis program on. And then next you would uh, set up a variable to the path where your service account key is located. So uh, echo Google Education. Uh, so that's not set up. So to do this, just type in this command export. All right, um, so this JSON file is um, downloaded once you set up your service account key. It will prompt you to um, save your private key to your computer, and that's what you're setting this uh, variable to. All right, so after you've set up your environment, you will go into GitHub and download the source code. So you can go here, and I'll put this link inside the video description, uh, view on GitHub. So it will be the Python doc sample uh, repository, and then you go to the language directory, and this is what, uh, this is where the source code is. So after you clone the repository onto your computer, Oops. Uh, after you do that, you create a virtual environment and set up dependencies. So to do that, you do a virtual And then you install source environment. Right. All right. And then um, I already did this, but you install your dependencies. And should be a requirements.txt file somewhere. Okay, 
So inside of the sentiment directory, there's a requirements.txt file. So you do pip install r requirements.txt and it'll install your dependencies. All right, so after you do that, Um, after you do that, you can go ahead and install the sample files. Uh, these contain some text files that you can run the sentiment analysis program on. So uh, you could pick which directory you want it in and copy that command and it will copy over the files to your local directory so i now have this sentiment slash samples dot tgz so now we have to unzip it using gunzip and decompress it using tar all right so basically it's giving me a directory called reviews and it has, um, looks like Blade Runner is a movie. It has some text from that movie, neutral, negative, mixed, positive. And to run the sentiment analysis program, you do Python, uh, I think Python 3, sentiment underscore analysis. Hi, and then review Blade Runner positive. All right, so after running the program, it applies a quantitative score to each sentence inside the text file. And the overall sentiment, so the score of 0 0.6 and a magnitude of 6.1. So the review, the example would indicate that a review was relatively positive and relatively emotional. So my scores are different than these in the sample, but um, I guess a 0.5 would be considered positive and uh, magnitude measures how emotional it was. So we can do the same for the negative. Let's see. So the sentiment negative 0.3 which means it's probably relatively negative and magnitude of 2.4, showing that wasn't very emotional. So it has lower uh, magnitude than the positive. So it means it was somewhat emotional, but not as emotional as the positive. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.